I'm going to really embarrass myself now, but isn't there that kid's rhyme of like milk, milk, lemonade, round the back? This is round. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, go you know, back to the film. Um, yeah. It just even in the really like even it. just reference of the ad lib parts. Like I said, it feels like a Marx Brother film in in terms of you got your straight laced yeah. characters for most parts. You got your bumbling fools here and there, um, but. Maybe it's because their characters are so idiotic that ad-libbing, when it's done badly, can come off as just really yeah. cringe. But they do it so well, and also their characters are so stupid that you kind of it just overlaps, and you're like, oh, that seems natural. Um, yeah. So we get them driving away, and they stop in at a diner and see mm-hmm. Bess. But, it, this but is the- again, see, I feel like I'm gonna. I feel like I'm so sorry for it. Like, just tell me to move on really quickly if I'm stopping, because there's bits that I'm like, you know, what he's like, <coughs> I bet you, I, I guarantee I can get you bet- gambling for the end of the day. No, I give you two to one odds, three, ten to one odds. Okay, <laughs> I, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I don't know how, but I'm gonna get you. Oh, no. And then they get to the diner. And then they get to the diner. Thanks for filling in the little bits there, there. No, but yeah. Um, But, like, that's what I was talking about earlier, about the competition, about who is actually stupider. And you're like, oh, my God. Oh, oh, Jim Carrey's gotten the upper hand there. Oh, no, he's actually that stupid. Oh, he... And now Harry can come in and say, oh, you missed it. And he's like, no, he's just stupider. Like, it's just like they they both keep getting more ridiculous. Dumber. Dumber, dumber. Oh. Uh, So... (coughs) Um, Harry throws over he spilled some salt and Harry throws over the salt behind his what's the matter spilling salt's very bad luck it is bad luck driving across the country last thing we need is bad luck quick (coughs) throw some salt hey Jamie Mm -hmm. hey Jamie I feel like we could just leave we could just I could just do the film now (laughs) we just put subtitles on the darn yeah we could just go and let Darren just do you know what the audience would like like a lot, like it a lot. Uh, yes, but the uh, the sea bass you know, character. Sorry. I'm actually just having the best time ever having a few people just talk about Dumb and Dumber. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm too, too I me too, Darren. Me too. <laughs> don't, don't get this very often. Uh, um, anybody think to comment about sea bass? Oh, sea bass. No, is that it? No, no, no sea bass. Oh, no, no. Jordan. Comes over and spits in his burger, gets a, like, eats it. Yeah, but in, in the Indian coffers, version, again, I'm talking about, you see him spit in the burger. And it's just gross. I seen it's, the spit see, in the burger. I, I, I must have seen away. that. It's, do you know what's worse when, see, for anyone who's watching, hopefully, or people are watching, we did it on stage. Uh, we set, me, Seth, and Derry put a show together called Dim and Dimmer. But we had a guy playing sea bass, and the guy, my counterpart playing Harry, each night threw the salt over his right shoulder and clocked your man right in the face every single fucking night. It was amazing. I don't know how he did it, but he did it. It was brilliant. And then did he actually get him? Your man walk over and spit like, like hock a in your man's, bur- in the burgers we had. It was the most, that, every time I see this movie now, I'm like thinking, I always think of that spit because it was like from his fucking soul he used to get that up. It was like, <laughs> like the whole. <laughs> like, yeah. He gave it was it nasty. Soft, in fairness. He gave he it gave fucking it. well, yeah. He did, absolutely. But um, yeah, every time I see that movie and just see that scene, I always think of that. Good memories, good times. And then. I think, see, this is the problem. I think, I think working on that with you killed this movie for me. <laughs> God damn. I think I just, I had my fill. <laughs> Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Um, what did you say then after that? You really wimped out, man. What are you talking about wimped out? The guy just hawked up my burger. I wouldn't like that. Why did he spit on the burger and then take it? Why did he just lick, did he, lick it? No, he didn't even take it to eat it. I wouldn't even eat it no, if I spat on a burger. He didn't take, he didn't take it. He asked to know the... the the barmaid or whatever the fuck the waitress took it away. No, no, he sure took it he away. Took it. He took it. Oh, no, we, we know something you don't know, Darren. Oh, Darren. 
Oh god, I never seen that before. Okay, if he took the burger, then fucking that's even more disgusting. Because I had the same thought. It's like, why is he taking it? Why is he gonna eat oh, that? He goes, he goes, is that your? Are you gonna eat that? He goes, uh, yeah, uh, no, I know, I mean, crossed my mind. And he goes, oh, and he spits it. He goes, uh, no, you, you can't have it. And he just takes it basically. I never had. I just saw him spit in the burger. And that's I never I saw. Like, what a what a Have sick had, fucker! Did you watch a movie this week? Let's not go there, Derry. Okay. <laughs> so they leave you know, the the, the restaurant. Uber in his they uh, leave the restaurant uh, after basically saying, "Oh yeah, that guy will pay for our food." Uh, he goes. He goes over to the sea bass. He's like, "Yeah, we want to buy some beers. We want to apologize." And he goes over to the waiter. Goes, "Oh yeah, those guys will buy us our food." And he goes like, "Yep, over here." He's like, "Okay." Well, that guy over there at the table over there is sea bass. He goes, "Yep, or over here." Uh, That's what he then- wants. What's on there too? We'll take all these. <laughs> then they get in the car and this is the part with the police officer he pulls them over basically and then asks them about the beer that's a lot of pee that is a lot of pee why didn't he oh i guess the reason he didn't stop a pull over is because they thought sea bass was going to be after him so i can't okay i can get that that's fine <laughs> uh joke he says there to man how did, what happened how'd you get that lloyd saw the movie once what happened the guy gets the waste got free and makes your man pay for his meal no, in the movie, they catch it from a half mile down the road and slay the road. It was a good one. <laughs> it's like, oh, wait. So, <clears throat> but like, immediately after that, your man says to him, Harry, I know it isn't the best time, but when you get, when you get a chance to pull over, I gotta be. What are you crazy? I'm not pulling over now. I mean, what, then, obviously, the fucking thing with the bottles. But that is a lot of pee. Uh, why why mm-hmm. can't he stop peeing? Because it stings. Poor, he should I get that checked. That when I, was younger. I never, I never heard that. And like only when I'm saying we did the show and I read the script and I was like, I can't stop. I can't stop. What I started, it's. I thought I said it stays. I was like, okay, he's I'll get in. Actually, but like, yeah, I wasn't 100 percent sure of that either. Yeah, yeah, it's, it I, stings. I, yeah, it does sting when you stop going. Darren, I, I, maybe it does. It. Does I don't know. I've never happy. needed to stop. I just continue on regardless. Dude, look, well, when you have kids in the house and they run into the bathroom on you, like when you're in the middle of going, you, you have just to keep. stop in the middle. <laughs> you just keep going. You know I'm too much of a gentleman at this stage. In that suit? Absolutely. <laughs> you know Classy. Ah, yeah, Classy. yeah, yeah. Um, uh, anyway. Harry... Harry goes to sleep and Lloyd starts as so though they continue driving. The police officer leaves them go. They got a lot. They got a scot free. They got off scot free in a lot of these things. Um, like they murder a man and they basically just let him walk out of the restaurant. Like it is very cleverly written, though, in the sense that like the stupidity that they do actually ends up working in their favor. Yes. Yeah. And I feel like the, the, the script in this is actually very good. Well, this, yeah. it's clever, they're clever written, but they do t- like as well. They didn't t- like leave your man off during the piss. They did try to tell him like, and he's like, again, that guy who that guy. What's he? Sorry, I don't know his name. Had he's been in a few things. I recognize him. I don't know what he's actually been in. It's fucking brilliant. Sorry, I'm gonna find out his name. He's Harlan Williams. He is in um. He's in like something about Mary and all those movies. Yes, well, that's was, what. It, yeah, like I've seen him in those. And again, that whole—that was all ad-libbed. That was all him doing it. He was see, just up and get sick. And again, I think he just wanted to kind of just add something to us, and he did that. But like, it fucking totally worked. Totally fucking worked. But again, Brilliant. I think maybe it is just the way that films were shot back in the nineties. They didn't have as much freedom because it was yeah. film. Like, it's not digital. Like, you can keep rolling for digital and cut and do intercuts and all of that crazy shit. Whereas if you're ad-libbing on film, um, it better be good the first time. And you can't do cuts to people laughing or quipping back on each other as you can with, again, a Seth Rogen and, and Paul Rudd sitting on a chair going, you know how I know you're gay? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. But but again, I mean, those, those are great jokes. Those are I know, you know amazing. how I know you're gay? Because I, cause I you fucked your father. <laughs> That's you a great met, film, actually. Met, what are we referencing? 
Forty Year Old Virgin. Oh, okay. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a great yeah. film, actually. <laughs> we should. I'm. T- I'm picking that next time. Yeah, yeah that I'm could be that your pick. Time. That could be your pick, Darren. That's a. That's a Darren. That sounds like a Darren pick to me. I'll make sure um, I completely horror myself out, so we need a break from the tension and comedy at that stage. <laughs> good idea. Have you seen, seen Far Too Far Yeah, ages ago. Yeah, oh, that's okay. That's, I enjoyed that's it at the time. I yeah, want that even, guy's. Um, I want that guy's room. I want Steve Carell's room with all his uh, like Aquaman and. That the was my figures. room until I sold all my toys. Till I gave them away, and what's worse, I didn't sell them. I gave them away, and now I feel all depressed. I'm but you're no beer. longer a virgin, Darren. <laughs> With your children. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> I want my toys back. <laughs> <laughs> I want my toys back. Oh, Dara. I want to clip those, the, those clip. Kids I just, the clip of the guy in an orange top hat drinking a beer, nearly crying, saying, I want my toys back. I want my toys back. That. Oh, my God. It's like Donald Trump all over again. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, we get one of my favorite little sketches in the film is uh, Lloyd doing his daydream and he's sitting in the car and what he, he basically fantasizes him about himself going to Mary's mansion. Hmm? That was a song. Come on, lads. You must know. It is. A, I know. I remember the, the song. I, you know, there were so many catchy songs in this. I, I, I've forgotten the one that plays you in this one. Um, I now is it? I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew she could make me happy. Be oh, happy. Yeah. No, it wasn't that, was it? It was. There was flowers in her hair, flowers everywhere. Do, was it? Are you questioning me, but don't know. Well, we just caught you in a mistake just a little while ago, so I, I think we're allowed to question you, to be honest with you, bro. Do you know what? Um, Do you know what? Whatever. What if? One of my favorite bits. So screw the, the bit where actually she does have a light, nice a bottom. I gotta say that's definitely not her. That's not. That's again. That's not that. Yeah. Remember when he gives her the hog, lifts her skirt up. I do. I, that's a oh, good butt. I do. That's a good butt. Yeah, that's not her butt though. Oh, I do. He says. Yeah. Uh, come on. Her butt. That's a good butt. That's a good butt. Lauren Lauren Hogg, we got a butt butt one. actress for that. But it's a second part in the restaurant. Where the waiter, for no apparent reason, just starts getting down and go, like starts kissing her, and then Jim Carrey absolutely kicks the shit out of him, and then a load of these guys start coming along. It just be- starts becoming like a, a martial arts film, and yeah. the guy comes from out of the kitchen in the mist. I was like, okay, this is fucking awesome. I forgot this part was in it. I kind of wish it had stopped yeah. at that part because the next part, like either this should have been the last one, um, or this. They should have just moved it on. Because uh, the next ones were him, like, basically farting in the, uh, when it was, like, the family around, sitting on the sofa. Oh, yeah. I thought this yeah, was it, much it better. Jump the shark there, yeah. Yeah, How because, they, like, he rips your man's heart yeah. down and everything. Yeah. There's a whole, there was a whole more to that. Like, there was a lot more to it than when he was farting. And there was a whole, like, build-up to the fucking scene. But they didn't use it. Well, the whole scene sucked anyway. No matter if there was dialogue there or not dialogue there. Like it was just, it wasn't good in the slightest. I like, loved the, that. Yeah. I loved it. I thought it was really good. Especially, because I thought like, it's it started off as a stupid daydream. And then it became like, okay, what would happen if someone hit on her? It's like, yeah, well, I'd attack him. Okay, and then there'd be another guy. And then a ninja guy. And I'd rip his heart out. Um, no, this, and then, I like this scene. I like this, this whole fight scene. Not the one where he's farting and stuff. I hate the fucking where he's farting. But the, the whole boobs. fight scene is fucking genius. It was brilliant. The headlights. Was that yeah. CGI? Oh. That was CGI. Am I wrong? Was that what was CGI? I wouldn't say so. Well, not no. CGI then, but no. it was like it must have been some sort of special effect. I'd say it was just caught no. in. No, what no, they 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 Because she was moving. Model, right? but, but she, yeah, but she had wires. So it was like a pull string thing that I was watching. No, so when, when they she, weren't really there she, at all. No way, they're not there. They weren't there. I'm you. No. What did you do? Well, that she had zero boobs because that's a man's chest. Then that's like a little boy's chest because there's no way that those boobs that that is a special effect. Even when I seen it, I was like, "That's a special effect." I knew that. But I was what I watched and what I was raised. I looked really carefully that. at this, Darren. I I know what I'm talking about. Like, there's I'm no boobs you. behind those lamps. No. 
They're like, I don't know. Helen, yeah, that's what happens. She had I've seen, seen boobs she... before, Darren, and they not look nothing like that. But okay, they well, look CGI because I wanted to raise the point. Ah, special effects in Dumb and Dumber. There's one. Uh, the other one was the giant Trina. explosion. They must have done something because she moves as well, and they actually move. The headlights move. No. Well, the fact that they they had ta- they had like stuck them onto her. I got I, I gotta I gotta ask for a source for that one, Darren, because I am wholly convinced that they are not real. Because you can't see the shadow. You can't see the shadow around it. There'd be a shadow there. Like it it doesn't look natural. Even, I know it obviously doesn't look natural, but it doesn't even look natural for her to have those stuck on. I I'm, I'm, I'm gonna research. You it. have them. <laughs> you have them. Would that be able to be physical? Possible. But this is the thing I'm talking about because I looked at it and immediately thought there is no space behind those lamps for boobs. Right. So there is no lamps there. She's a pretty small but lady, but there's no way there's the that lady. this lady in the... Look at those! Like, they're... they're con- what do you call them? Convex? Concave? I can't remember. Yeah. Concave, concave goes like a cave. That way. Where boobs go that way. Yeah. Like, Hey, I'm it's gonna put it down to special effects. It's spe- it we've do- we're out. We're out of democracy. I, maybe what I read was full of shit, but it's what I read. I, well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna find out. Do it. I was about to say that. That's your <laughs> task, Terry. You'll know. I'm not drawing tonight, so you know I may as well just do some research. So uh, and then we we basically find out that the headlights were for a big oncoming truck, and um, they stop in at a crappy love hotel and sit in a big heart-shaped bathtub. Yeah, um, they do. They have a discussion about how Harry had a girlfriend years ago and apparently he she ran away with another man and you kind of find out that it's basically been Lloyd. And that's not really <gasps> talked about. It's right? It's been Lloyd. It's been Lloyd all along. People are fucking... John There's like... There's like a, a bunch of people fucking in the in the hotel as well. It's obviously for married couples, and they're just sitting in this love tub, uh, drinking oh, beers together. Only married couples can fuck. Is that what you're saying, Jamie? Well, yeah, I should hope so. The Pope doesn't condone such things. <laughs> oh yeah. By the way, I'm uh, an extremist Christian this week. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, but the, did you see? The, did you watch the whole conversation before? When they were when he's listening with the glass against the window or against the the, the door, not the door, the wall. What I'm talking about. Did you see this? No, no. Did you hear it? Do you remember? It? Okay, you didn't see it. He says to a man, "Is there's only one thing that makes any better?" Your man says, "What's that?" He goes, "If you had a nice set of knockers." I said, "That's two things, Lloyd." Your man, Jim Carrey, it's all ad libbed. Jim Carrey says, "Well, you're lucky, Harry." Because I'd be banging you right now. Oh, that it's part, really, yeah. It's, I, be, so I bet you'd love it. I, I bet you'd love yeah. it too, wouldn't you? What means like yeah. I'd, I'd split split you like a piece of firewood? I'd split um, like a piece of firewood. In my research, <laughs> I've actually just come across something interesting there oh? in relation to what you're talking about. That room is where The Shining was filmed? Yeah, the, the hotel they used... You know the hotel where they go when they're all rich in this That's movie? Cool. That's where Stephen King... No, it's when Stephen King actually... Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's not this one you're talking yeah. about. It's later on. Okay. When he, he had like a ghostly experience and he um he wrote The Shining in the, in the hotel. You know, when he's oh, really? like standing aside, it's like, there you go. There you go. That's the hotel that uh, he got the... He had his horror experience. He basically saw a ghost there and he wrote The Shining from that in the hotel. I, I need to watch that film. That's one film I haven't seen. Oh. That's a fucking amazing movie. The, the Shining. Shining. Yeah, yeah, never seen that. How have you not seen that? I know, I know. It's on my list. There's so many films. There's so oh. many films. Jamie, you've so, never seen The Shining. I have never seen oh, The Shining. No. God, now that's you know you're having a me moment right now. People say to me, Darren, you've never seen Jaws. I'm like, no, like and they fucking. Have you never seen Jaws? Me. I didn't see Jaws last year. Okay, well, you have seen it now. That's okay. I'm sad I can no longer say I've never seen Star Wars. 
Yay, I ruined that for you. you. I'm sorry I did. Actually, at least you got to see it. It was. Oh. Well, you only seen the first one. You didn't see the... Did I show you the Empire Strikes Back? You didn't make me want to watch the rest of them. I'm not into sci-fi. No. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not into sci-fi. You are into sci-fi. You just don't know it yet. <laughs> Nobody's shown you the proper sci-fi, the real sci-fi. Well, why um, did you show me Star Wars then? Ooh. Actually, no, I lie. I am a huge Star Trek fan. I'm a big TNG fan. There you go. Jamie, that's all on you right now, okay? That's all on you. Hey, yeah, I have no problem with Star Trek. Star Trek is so much, was so much better. Don't even try to convert Star Trek to Star Wars. Don't, oh my God. Why don't you? <laughs> anyway, moving on, dumb and dumber. So, we get it. I like this bit in the, um, in the call booth, in the phone booth, where your man's like, hello, I be, other people are trying to speak. What's that guy from? He, he kind of reminds me of Tim Curry a little bit. Like, he's the face of Tim Curry. And uh, um, he's, he's, he's been in. Stoner, right? Yeah, what What else has that guy been in? Tell you now, one second. Give me a chance, Jamie. He's in <laughs> Everyone Loves Raymond. He's in Seinfeld. He's in Hannah Montana. He's in fucking loads That's of That's how you know him, Jamie. That must That's be it. It's my incessant love of <laughs> Hannah Montana. I've seen Goldenberg, Bob's Burgers, My Name is Earl, Drew Carey Show, Darren Gray. Like, he's been in so much. It's ridiculous. He's one of those actors that you've just been like, ah, I've seen that guy a million times before. Well, so many people that were in, um, what was the... I left uh, the, the subtitles on this because there's certain words that was, you know, obviously I didn't hear it before. But you know when he says, uh, your man, is he's trying to call him first, like, uh, Hey, sir, can you get out? And your man turns around. He's like, oh, we turned it back on me. I'm, I'm, I almost oh, like it. Yeah, yeah. Did you hear that bit where he goes, who's made me angry? I'm, I'm almost like it. it yeah. And then you're like, what? Sorry. Sorry, what? And he just punches him through the glass. Off the phone. Oh. But your man actually, your man broke his, um, he, they broke, he broke his baby finger, uh, my star, when he punched through the, the glass. Oh, yeah. He actually punched him. He got. He, he didn't obviously knock him out, but he punched me. He made connection with him. He didn't mean to fucking when he did it. But like back then, that's a great fucking effect. That's yeah, a yeah. great effect. He was. Well, it wouldn't have been an effect. He actually punched his hand through glass. <laughs> so well, he punched his hand through sugar, sugar glass, but he actually yeah. connected with your man. Your man was. Your man had obviously had, had his mark where he's supposed to be. But like, look. It is what it is, and your man fucking punched him. But it was a great, it looked brilliant. It looked fucking great for the movie. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, so they set up uh, one of the goons and your other one, the Latino one, that they've basically Latino. been, their the car is broken down. He's going to uh, look for a lift from Harry and Lloyd. Best, best ever. He says, she says, Joe, come on, let me do, let me do both of them. You won't even have to worry about it. He says, you don't kill people you don't know. <laughs> Yeah, what does that even that's, mean? That's a rule. You that's a rule. But then she says... Um, she wants to squeeze a lemon. Asked. Why is she, yeah, why yeah, is she squeezing she's lemons? Going for the shit, I think. Oh. Is that right, Derry? Is that right, Derry? Do you know this? Squeeze I, a I, lemon. I thought it was a pussy joke. I, I gotta go that. squeeze a lemon. Yeah. I, I, thought it was like, I thought it was like taking a shit for a girl. Oh, know. taking on. a shit no, for a girl. No, no, no. It's like it's lemonade, maybe. Like pissing, yeah? yeah. Oh, right, yeah. That's oh, what it is. Squeeze a lemon. Americans will never know. So I've never heard that saying in my life. Is it that, no it's that kids, I'm going to really embarrass myself now, but isn't there that kids wearing with like milk, milk, lemonade around the back? Is it red? <laughs> yes. So she would have said, I got to make a chocolate cake if she was going for the shipping. <laughs> Ew. Sorry, Nasty. Girls pooping <laughs> in the woods. Ew. <laughs> they pick him up. Uh, this is the part where he's like, you want to hear the most annoying word sound in the world? <laughs> I think on YouTube you can find a 10 hours of that. I think they just, someone just looped it of 10 hours of Jim Carrey shouting. I want to say Thanks, hey, I hate congratulations it. to that person. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Congratulations. You well did done. it. You, you really did it. You did it. You deserve a fucking award for that. You did something meaningful with your life. The good guy get, get, starts getting really pissed off and is about to shoot them 
when they start picking up like a Mexican family on the, the side of the road and they start singing they Mockingbird. Start together. Mock. Yeah. And they go. Zing. 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 The guy isn't basically with them five minutes and they end up murdering him. Uh, yeah. They give him, they, they do a dare with like eating chilies. They put the chilies in your man's burger. I think he calls the henchman. Um, you kind of find out at this point that it's Mary's friend, some yeah, random Andrew. guy that Mary knows. It's it's the family friend who basically is extortion, extorting the fucking family after kidnapping the husband. Yeah, they kidnapped the husband for the money and she seems fairly calm. Everybody else seems fairly calm. <laughs> you know, her friends are like, oh, don't worry, it'll be fine. The guy eats and the chilies and then he has like an ulcer attack and ends up on the yeah. ground. Uh, they, uh, they, get, they go to get the medicine and it's actually, what is it? Um, what, rat poison? Because your man... Yeah, rat. Your man is like, not if you can't, not, you heard him, his last words, not if you can't, the gurgling sound. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> what happens is that they, have, they basically kill the guy and, whoo, hey cat, um, they kill the guy and the police are called, but Lloyd and Harry are already out of there. They go to another gas station. All the way along to Aspen. They're still driving to Aspen. Like, Aspen must be a very long way away. Uh, it is. And Harry encounters this one that he's trying to chat up. She apparently just broke up from her boyfriend and is traveling to Aspen. Kind of an in inconsequential character for no apparent reason. You know, you know the bit where he's talking around? He's like, um, what's the lines? Skis? Cool. They're yours? Yeah. Both of them? Yeah. But you know where you see the, the stuff he starts spurting out from the, the gas? Yeah. That's a, that's, yeah, that's all. Like, I, that was actually, he was taught his lines were taking too long. And that's when she says to him, you're spraying everywhere. And he's like, oh, fuck, that's why he lifts up in the air. It's actually yeah. water in the thing. But uh, that's all like a mistake. But they kept in the movie to be, it just wasn't fair play to them because they fucking realized it was brilliant. Well, yeah, but, but then they lit his leg on fire. He turned like lit the leg on fire and everything. I thought it was really good. Uh, so, number. Jim Carrey goes into the bathroom and sees on the wall that manly love here, March twenty fifth at twelve at two fifteen a.m. Sharp, and it's our old friend Seabass. I did not expect that. I completely forgot about the whole man rape thing. In uh, I was like, wow, does he actually get raped in this? Yeah, but they, they go, they, they do, they, uh, they go they pretty much take it as far as they can get it. <laughs> yeah. He holds him by the neck and he has like, it's, it's fucking fucked up. Poor Jim Carrey. Well, while, while Harry's leg is on fire, he's basically runs into the bathroom and tries to put his foot down the toilet yeah. in action, knocking out a uh, sea bass. So they finally escape and you find out that the police are after them. They're waiting for them by this, like, overpass, like, on the way to Aspen. And Jim Carrey drives them completely the opposite direction because he's not paying attention. What was he trying to do? But like Gary saying, it's their, it's their stupidity that actually works in their favor. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Well, they, what did you work? You drove almost, uh, you drove a, a sixth the of the way across the, the wrong direction. <laughs> but, Jim Carrey comes back with a motorcycle uh, that he traded the car with. Uh, so Straight up. Straight up. They hop on the shitty little motorcycle and decide that that is probably going to be the best way to get to Aspen. I, I got to stop you there. You said shitty motorcycle. Jim, yeah, it's a shitty motorcycle. Let's be honest now. The best motorcycle in the fucking world. Come on now. Derry, don't even, don't even joke with me. If I, if I pulled up in that and I like flicks my hands out, you'd be on the back in 10 seconds. I mean, in that suit, sweetie, I'm all yours. You see, like I'm all over that right now. See? Well, at least and you'd be seen while you were driving it. That's, uh, you know, you'd be, you wouldn't be a, a hazard on the road. See? It's like you a high visit tuxedo. 
dude, I'm all over that. No one would fucking pass mm-hmm. me off because they'd be like, look at that suave motherfucker right there. Wow, people are like pulling over and just clapping, getting out of their car and like <laughs> clapping you. <laughs> so they but find their way to ask them. What's the song where they're passing? Here it comes. They're playing the monkeys. I think they're referencing that earlier on in the in the movie where they were like, "Oh, did you you know you know the monkeys uh, influenced the Beatles?" That was in the diner. But there's loads of jokes. Yeah, the monkeys they had a major influence on the Beatles. Um, But even Uh, like the sound. Who's one of you said this earlier? The soundtrack to this is fucking brilliant. The soundtrack it's very nineties. It's very nineties. It's just super mm-hmm. kind of. It just feels like all of those classic nineties songs. Yeah, they, they don't do that anymore. They don't like make soundtracks to album or to movies anymore, do they? Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. But they're just they're all all music nowadays is shit. So that's just my stance on it. every <laughs> single bit of it. I don't care. It's all horrible. It's every it's, single song. I don't care. But it's I mean, just like, horrible. I haven't. I know, like, places like Golden Discs are still going. They have, like, they sell CDs and stuff. And I mean, I don't know who buys fucking CDs anymore. But well, I mean, like, the last the last thing, the last movie I watched that had a soundtrack to it was either Frozen or fucking The Greatest Showman. Like, they were the only movies that actually had music. Well, like, you'd hope there'd be a soundtrack to The Greatest Showman. That was a musical. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, but, like, like this Ga- Guardians of the Galaxy. Suicide Squad, Derry. Yeah, that's the right, Jane. Uh, Derry, you're a little bit mic low. I'm what? Your mic is low. Oh, okay. Low. It's a little bit hard to hear you, sorry. Oh, okay. Can you hear me now? Uh, a nope. little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah, dip, dip, dip. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you know, it's just, we're speaking over you. I can't hear you. Oh, okay. Um, no, I was going to say Suicide Squad had a really good sound. There you go. That for a horrible awesome film, film, apparently. But it was older music. Mm-hmm. And Derry likes the movie, so I, I have to give her... I No, I, I like the movie as a movie, as yeah, a visual then, spectacle. Yeah. I didn't like yeah. the story and all that. I, I thought the story was ridiculous. I, this, the, the problem with me is I can't separate the movie from what it was supposed to be, The Suicide Squad, yeah. the original graphic novel, and I'm just like, no, I can't... Uh, well, well did you guys um did did you guys see Harley Quinn? I heard that was also awful. I haven't seen the it movie. yet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the movie was shockingly bad. Everyone was mm. she couldn't hold the, she couldn't she couldn't hold the accent as Harley Quinn, which is which is weird because you can either do an accent or you can't do an accent. And she It's created, from Boston! Hey Mr. J <laughs> But what annoys me is she created this Harley Quinn. So this is her Harley Quinn. So I don't know how she fucked that up, but she did. It wasn't good. It was poorly written. Hugh McGregor played the fucking the black. Oh yeah, black I heard mask. that was awful as well. And it was as a movie. It was one. You know, one of those movies that you'd forget that happened in four years. All right. Completely, completely forgettable. All the characters were forgettable. It was a um, unforgettable. You know, the of being a good movie. But just not well executed, not well like all the characters that they could have used for this movie that were really good that make you want to be interested were great. All the characters that were helping her in the her mission were great. She was the worst part of the movie, Harley Quinn. Not against Margot Robbie. I loved her. I thought she was great in Suicide Squad because she was Harley Quinn. But it was like she wasn't the same character. She was like trying to be. She was trying to take that character and do something different with it. I'm like, why would you do something different with it if you, if you made it work in the first movie? Like, yeah. her accents never stay the same. Never. I liked her, Harley. And I'm a diehard Harley fan because yeah. I was that age when Harley was invented, when Harley was first created. But there, I was, like, have... that age and I was big into Batman yeah. the Animated Series. Well, you don't have to be, Oh, Mr. J! You don't have oh, to... Mr. J! I don't know, because that's how the original Harley Quinn was. But that's insane. But she took that and then did her own Ooh. spin on Suicide Squad. So she did a very good job of it. And even when they showed the flashbacks of her in the just of it, it was good. But it's like a whole other character she created for this movie that mm. just didn't work. It did anyway, not work at all. Anyway, we were talking about this. soundtracks, right? Soundtracks, yeah. Here we go. 
Sorry, there's more visuals. I'm going to listen to the soundtrack after this and get drunk. That's it. That's what I don't even know if you can find the Dumb and Dumber soundtrack. I bet there's like seven songs on it that have I no have flow into each Jamie, other. Jamie, I, have it. I have it on CD. As far as I think I came across it on Spotify. It's on YouTube. Oh my God. I'm going to have to check that out. They yeah. finally got to Aspen. So this is where they got to Aspen. They're like... Aspen. We're there. I think what well, Harry pisses himself to keep them all warm, which is nice. Lloyd, I gotta go to the bathroom. Just go, <laughs> man. Just go, man. That's real warm. Oh, it feels warm. <laughs> oh, they, so have, they have a conversation about trying to find Mary, and then you find out that Jim Carrey knows nothing about her except for her first name. Uh, barely what- remembers her last name. This is, but this is another thing years ago where I wouldn't have understood like the Samsonite because I wouldn't have obviously known because it's a briefcase maker. I didn't know, yeah. Like, when he, like, I literally when he got like this is when I was another indication of when Jim Carrey is the dumber because obviously I've got it by now, like you know, only 30 years later, like, yeah. But it's when he gets off the thing straight away, he's like, right, let's uh, let's um, let's find Mary. If I, if I know her as well as I think it is, she'll invite us right in for tea and scrumpets. Scrum- um, no, I, I thought he said tea and strumpets. No, scrumpets. I was like, did he say strumpets or scrumpets? Okay, scrumpets. So he goes, okay, what's what's her last name? I don't know. I don't know. Or, <laughs> she, she, I don't know. Okay, tell me her last name. I look at the phone, on the phone book. You know, I don't really recall. Swilly, swish, swishy, swish. Flappy Swan 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 Great moment, they basically, great moment in the movie as well, like you know what I mean. But they're fucking yeah, yeah. At, at, like especially like because you took you couldn't think to be at more like rock bottom where he's like, I can't feel my fingers, Lloyd. They're numb. I take these extra pair of gloves. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. What? I'm gonna kill you, Lloyd. Uh, and then the money, but like it's it's a fucking great setup. It's a brilliant setup for it, you know what I mean? I do like the two pairs of gloves thing, where he goes, uh, oh yeah, take, my hands are sweaty. 